you have a web application you deploy it into an Azure virtual machine and you expose it to your end users through a public IP address but the day that virtual machine will be unavailable the entire application would be unavailable to remediate you that issue, you would create multiple virtual machines and you deploy your web applications to those multiple VMs. In Azure, you can do that through a VMSS virtual machine scale set. But now you have multiple VMs, so you need to route that traffic from your users to those different virtual machines. And there comes the Azure load balancer that will be able to get the user traffic and then route it to the different virtual machines. For that, it will use a configuration for the health check to detect which virtual machine is healthy. And if it is not healthy, then it will not route the traffic to that VM. And then it will use front-end IP configuration to get or to link the private I public IP address, backend pool to attach to the virtual machines where to send the traffic, and then a load balancer rule to orchestrate all of those rules together. 